We are back now with the one and only Goldie Hawn. She is the founder of Mind Up. It's a program that's just amazing, helping children self-regulate and understand their own emotions. And on the eve of World Mental Health Day, we are so thrilled to have her here on Good Morning America with us this morning. Hi, Goldie. Hello, and I'm really happy to be here too. You were saying that you were really grateful to be here today well, in particular. Well, this is amazing. I mean, our educators are everything. Yep. And one of the things that happens with Mind Up, with our program, Program, is that it's also for our educators to reduce stress, to give them an ability to understand how to manage their classroom and the kids manage their classroom. But I, I'm so excited for the teachers today. I have to say, I love you. I mean, you, the, the UFT, which is the, you, up yeah, here in the course. union, uh, they called us about three years ago and basically said, we'd like you to come in here and speak to our educators because they need this program. They need how to reduce stress. They have to understand the brain, which we teach. We have to understand this. It will help them so much. So our relationship with the UFT, and I just want to shout out, they have been incredibly helpful and engaging, well, and we've like got 143 is, schools now. And it's really and helping, it's helping kids. them. So our educators are gaining tremendous uh, uh, health and wealth and, and joy. So I just want to say, fantastic, well, way to go. Well, and timing, they get you. a present for heaven's sake. Yes, they deserve I mean, the present, and that teacher does I does love deserve it. a night out. Uh, but I want to share because I really love that you're doing this. You, you've been in our homes and our hearts for so many years, and this is just now you've moved on and this is really a passion project that's full circle as a kid as a teenager you were teaching dance to kids I, and now was. here you are today <laughs> teaching children to find peace through being more mindful well peace through understanding the brain so here here's what happened yes I absolutely uh, understand that they're to be more mindful and that's what comes out of mind up but you know I after 9-11 I realized I was scared to death of the atom bomb mm -hmm. so for me I put me in trauma I figured that these children are going to be experiencing some level of that in which case I then created this program I did I, well, I'm not the founder I am the creator and that means that I thought why aren't children learning about their brain why do we ask them to use it and don't teach them anything about how to use that's it so true so that's the first thing in our program second was we do three times a day a brain break in the classroom and the brain break in the classroom helps calm their amygdala down they know exactly what's going on in their brain if we give them context then they actually have more agency over their emotions right. so they know how to regulate and so forth and they go home and they even tell their dads and moms and say things like you know you need to take a breath dad I mean you know this is just a shed because you know the shed fell down and his father was cussing point is is that if we don't start looking at our children seriously as the next generation we're not going to have we have so much mental issues right now. We have, right. we've got suicide. It's gotten worse in the tw 19, you know, when I went, uh, 2020, 2010. Yeah, no, it's, so it's a serious problem. So this is problem. an area where we've got to look at this because we're developing minds. And when we develop brains, we do it in the classroom and they have much more cognition around this. And then they know how to open their prefrontal cortex so they can learn. We have so, a lot of parents watching uh, this morning. What advice would you give them on how they can use some of your uh, expertise in this area at home with their children yes well first of all you know we have to figure out their stress so more more parents have more stress now than ever and this is also measured I mean it's a very sad story there's loneliness and there's all kinds of anxiety and sadness and so forth because we're facing a lot of troubles right now in the meantime we breathe and when you breathe it sounds crazy but if you take slow deep breaths it changes your brain it changes your brain and the activity in your brain in the midsection that limbic system in your brain where it hijacks thinking because your right. emotions are so high your cortisol is flowing everything's going and if you do breath and just sit there for, for you know three minutes and just breathe quietly yep. you'll be amazed at how you don't different have to be a meditation expert this is just breathing no and we're not a meditation organization nope. but we do add that along with acts of kindness and, and gratitude journals but with that it changes the way the brain is firing so you want your neurons to be firing in more optimistic you know, uh, situation how they work and then you create more bundles so so for parents I think you need to also create just remember Loneliness is something that can, can happen 
take take your friends and try to be with them, but don't stop listening to your children. Goldie, thank you so much. Is such, it over? Such it is. Unfortunately, I oh, could talk I have to you so all much day. More to share. I know, and I, I know. we want to hear it's, more. We hope you'll come exactly. back and anyway, tell us more. But it's been great well, seeing it's, you again. Give me a hug. I just <laughs> we love you. You are you are America's <laughs> darling. And thank you for giving back to our kids. It's so very important. And for everyone out there, for more on Goldie's Foundation, please do check out mindup.org. The great Goldie Hawn, everyone. Yeah.